Students from the Department of Mining and Geological Engineering are used to working with high-tech equipment, but recently at the University of Arizona's San Javier Mine, they were practicing with equipment and techniques that you don't see too often on a modern-day mine site. So today, um, as you can see behind me, we're practicing for the mining competition. It's the International Intercollegiate Mining Competition. And so there's seven events. And so uh, we have two teams that we're sending over to Australia in a week. And right now we're trying to brush up on our skills so we can go represent when we get over there. The uh, mining competition is actually a tribute to the miners that died at the Sunshine Mine Fire in May of 1972 in northern Idaho. And basically what we have done is honored those miners by creating the events that those miners were, were using when they, when they were mining in, in the narrow silver veins of North Idaho. So all the competitions are directed towards what would be narrow vein mining. Well, there's seven events. We have surveying, so every mine needs a good surveying. Uh, we have the air leg drilling or the jack leg drilling which we do on campus as well. We have the mucking competition, there's hand stealing. We have the track stand, so a lot of older mines were rail operated and so uh, laying track was a skill that miners used to have to have and so we do a competition with that. Sweet saw, so you have to cut the timbers not only for your ground support but also for the tracks that you're laying, so we have the track stand competition. We also have gold panning. So this is a gold panning event and what we got here is just uh, five squashed BBs. And uh, so what I'm going to do here is drop them into Sarah's pan, push them down. And these represent uh, little flecks of gold you might find in the alluvium of the river. You just smooth them over so she doesn't know where they are. And then the time will start and Sarah will start gold panning. The water works in between the, the kernels of sand, lifting up the lighter silica and whatnot and leaving the heavier uh, copper BBs at the bottom. So, you know, just uh, separating it based on the different mineral, mineral characteristics. The gold's heavier, so it sinks to the bottom. The sand's lighter, it floats off the top. A respectable time for this would be about 30 seconds. And there you go. So Sarah found three out of the four. Um, we're very good at gold panning, ironically. I don't, we don't have much gold in southeastern Arizona, but um, we usually win that competition. Um, but my, my particular favorites are the jack leg drilling and the hand stealing. Um, they're by far the most fun, and the jack leg drilling is the most prestigious event, so that's the one that everybody's going for. If, if you win that one, you win bragging rights, even if you don't win the other competitions. We basically approach this as a sort of a fun event. Uh, it's fun for the students. It's actually fun for me to be part of it with the students. And we've been doing this for a number of years. Uh, since May of 1972, I think the competition started soon after that uh, at the University of Idaho. And it's been held at mining schools throughout the world ever since then.